Akinani Naga Chaitanya is an Indian actor who primarily works in Telugu cinema. He made his acting debut with Josh and his breakthrough came with Gautam Vasudev Mainan directed Yamaya Chasev. He has won several film awards including Film Fair Award for Best Male Debut South, Nandi Award for Best Supporting Actor and Siima Award for Best Actor. In his initial years he appeared in successful films including 100% Love, Tadaka, and Manam along with few films that did not perform well. Chaitanya is known for his notable work in films such as Premam, Majalai, Venki Mama, Love Story, and Bangaraju. He married actress Samantha Ruth Prabhu in October 2017, but they got separated in October 2021. Early Life Chaitanya was born on November 23, 1986, in Hyderabad to actor Akinani Nagarjuna and Lakshmi Dagubadi. His paternal grandfather, Actor Akinani Nageswara Rao and his maternal grandfather, producer D. Ramanaidu are prominent figures in Telugu cinema. Chaitanya's parents got divorced when he was a child. Both his parents later remarried. While Nagarjuna married former actress Amala Mukherjee, Lakshmi married Sharath Vijayaragavan, a corporate executive at Sundaram Motors. Chaitanya has a paternal half-brother actor Akil Akinani and a maternal step-brother. His maternal uncle Venkatesh and first cousins Rana Dagubadi, Sumanth and Sushanth are also actors. Chaitanya grew up in China, where he was raised for 18 and a half years. He was educated at Padma Seshadri Balabhavan, China, and at AM School, China. He then completed his graduation from St. Mary's College, Hyderabad. He expressed his desire to Nagarjuna to take up acting as his profession during his second year in college. He enrolled in a three-month acting course in Mumbai. He received further training in acting and martial arts in Los Angeles, apart from taking voice and dialogue coaching for one year before making his acting debut. Career Debut and Breakthrough Chaitanya debuted in 2009 with the film Josh directed by Vaso Varma, in which he played a college student. Readif.com wrote, As a debutante, Naga Chaitanya has performed well. He has his moments where he's proven himself. There is always scope for improvement and one hopes that he will hone his skills in the years to come. Chaitanya won the Film Fair Award South for Best Male Debut. He next starred in the 2010 romantic drama Yamaya Chasev directed by Gautam Vasudev Menon, which was simultaneously shot in Tamil as Vinathandi Varavaya, with a different cast and climax. He played a Hindu Telugu assistant director who falls in love with a Christian Malayala girl. A reviewer from Sifi.com wrote, Naga Chaitanya is at home in romantic scenes. His asset is his voice and his casual acting style. Chaitanya has improved his performance from his first film. He can now confidently act in more romantic films and strengthen his position. However, the reviewer felt that he should concentrate on his looks as he felt that Chaitanya looked very boyish. The film was a success at the box office and went on to receive a cult status. He also received a nomination for Film Fair Award South for Best Actor Male. After Yamaya Chasev. He paired up with Sukumar in 2011 for another love story titled 100% Love, in which he played a studious and egotistical college student who is the top ranker of his college. His next film was Dada. The film's story is based on an engineering graduate student who was to complete his studies in the U.S. and return to India in another 10 days. The Times of India wrote, after good performances in his last two films, Naga Chaitanya doesn't live up to expectations. He has the same expression stuck on his face throughout the movie. His next release that year was Bajawada, directed by Vivek Krishna. The film saw Chaitanya portraying the role of a college student turned gangster. The film received negative reviews, with critics calling it his worst film. His performance was also panned by critics. The Times of India wrote, this film might have even outdone Dada, 
in being called the worst film of Chaitanya's career. While the young actor still needs to work on his facial expressions, he was saddled with a poorly sketched character in this film, devoid of all heroism, and he fails to rise above it. Career Fluctuation with Few Successes Chaitanya's next film, Tadaka in 2013, was an official remake of N. Lingasamy's Tamil action film Vetai. The Hindu wrote, Naga Chaitanya shows tremendous improvement even his last outing, the debacle called Bajawada. He is in sync with his role, exudes overconfidence and seems to have had funny stunt sequences and comic portions. Reprising a role played by an established actor like Arya is no mean task and Chaitanya pulls it off rather well. The film was commercially successful, giving the actor a much needed break. In 2014, Chaitanya appeared in the period drama Manam, which also featured his grandfather, Akinani Nageswara Rao, and father, Nagarjuna. He played two roles in the film, which were of a middle class father in 1983 and a happy go lucky college student. Deccan Chronicle wrote, Naga Chaitanya has done a decent job and compared to his earlier films he matured a lot as an actor. Siffy.com wrote there is lot of improvement in Naga Chaitanya's acting. He looks natural and has done justice to his role. His next release was the political drama Adnagar Surya, directed by Deva Kata, in which he played Surya, a skilled mechanic. Upon release, the film received mixed reviews from critics who however appreciated Chaitanya's performance in the film calling it one of his best efforts. The film ended up as a flop. The Hindu wrote, One rarely gets to see Naga Chaitanya smiling in this film. Chaitanya brings in the right amount of grit and intensity required for his role and shows that he can carry a film on his shoulders with the help of an able director. He later starred in romantic comedy Okalila Kozam. The Times of India wrote, Okalila Kozam is a simple love story which doesn't quite leave you with a big smile on your face, but it has enough mojo, if you are a big sucker for romance. In 2015, he played the lead in the action crime drama Doshe, directed by Sudhir Varma. Later that year, he was brought aboard for Gotham Vasudev Menon's bilingual romantic thriller film Sahasam Sway Saga Sajipo. In 2016, he starred in the remake of the 2015 Malayalam cult romantic film Premam, of the same name, alongside Shruti Hassan. After the success of Premam, his next release was Sahasam Sway Saga Sajipo, released two days after demonetization, received positive reviews, and won him critical acclaim but no commercial success. In 2017, he had two releases. The family drama Rarando Ivajika Chudham, directed by Kalyan Krishna and the thriller film Yudam Sharanam. In 2018, he starred in a brief role in the Savitri's biopic, Mahanadi, directed by Nag Ushvan, which was a huge hit. He played his grandfather Nageswara Rao. In the same year, he starred in Maruthi directed Shai Laja Reddy Aludu alongside Anu Emmanuel and Ramya Krishna. The Times of India wrote, Some preaching, some family drama, some humor, and Shai Laja Reddy Aludu plays safe for a festive release. Two months later, his next film, the thriller Saviyasachi directed by Shandu Mondetti featured Chaitanya in the role of an ambidextrous man. Acclaimed success and further career. In 2019, Chaitanya featured in Majalai along with his then-wife Samantha Akinani in their fourth film together. With a gross of 700 million, Majalai became the highest-grossing film in Chaitanya's career. Later that year, he starred in Venki Mama alongside his maternal uncle Venkatesh. The film directed by K.S. Ravindra, and produced by his uncle D. Suresh Babu was a profitable venture grossing 720 million. In 2021, he starred in the film Love Story with Sai Pallavi. 
His performance was called one of his best by Nishita Nayapati of the Times of India and Hindustan Times's Harry Sharan Pudapati stated, in spite of the hurried climax and the predictable ending, the film works to a large extent because of its sensible treatment and earnest performances of Naga Chaitanya and Sai Pallavi, who complement each other so well. In 2022, Chaitanya appeared in Bangaraju along with his father, Nagarjuna. Anji Shetty of Sakshi stated that Nagarjuna and he were the core strength of the film. The film received mixed reviews but was a commercial success. He next appeared in Thank You with Rashi Khanna. The film received mixed to negative reviews, Nishita Nayapati of the Times of India wrote Thank You doesn't offer anything fresh in terms of the story or the performances. Upcoming projects Chaitanya will make his Hindi film debut in 2022 with Lal Singh Chadha. He will also appear in Venkat Prabhu's Telugu Tamil bilingual film. It will mark his Tamil debut. Chaitanya will make his web debut with Vikram Kumar's web series Dutha. He also has a film with Parasuram in the pipeline. Personal Life After being in a relationship since November 2015, Chaitanya got engaged to actress Samantha Ruth Prabhu on January 29, 2017. Later that year, they married in Goa, in a Hindu religious ceremony on October 6 and a Christian ceremony on October 7. Both were private ceremonies, where only close friends and family were present. The public knew them as Che Sam. After much speculated rumors, Chaitanya and Samantha announced their separation on October 2, 2021, ending their four years of marriage. In the media Chaitanya is one of the most popular and highest paid Telugu actors. He has featured on Hyderabad Times Most Desirable Men list various times. He ranked 12th in 2017, 7th in 2018. 11th in 2019 and 6th in 2020. Filmography Films All films are in Telugu unless otherwise noted.